everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to teach you how to turn anything into a chrome statue so i'll start off with this image i got off of pexels.com definitely go check them out they're awesome they have free images and videos um they're my favorite anyways we're gonna select uh, whatever it is we want to turn into a chrome statue so i'm gonna do this guy I'm going to go to select subject and Photoshop will automatically kind of understand where my subject is. I'll then press W on my keyboard to grab the quick selection tool. And I'm going to remove the areas that I don't need to be selected by holding down the Alt or Option key. As you can see, this little plus sign in the center will become a minus whenever I hold down the Alt or Option. So I'm just going to click to delete these parts or the parts that I don't want. And we're already basically done. I'm going to press command J to bring my selection onto a new layer. So ta-da, we have gotten rid of our background and just like that, pretty easy. Anyways, go to the Adjustments panel. If you don't have it right here, you'll definitely find it under Window and Adjustments. Anyways, you're going to click here to add a black and white adjustment layer. And then you're going to select both your layers, right click and merge them together. I'm going to delete the background or the old image because we don't need that. Anyways, we are going to hold down Command and click on the thumbnail of our layer to bring up back our selection and we'll click here to add a layer mask to it. Now make sure that your image is selected and not your layer mask. So with your little image selected, go to image, apply image, make sure the blending is set on difference and that the invert box is checked and press OK. Now you want to repeat this, so go back to Image, Apply Image, and the settings should be the same as they were earlier. Press OK. You can add it once more if you want, but I usually do it just twice. But you can see if it looks better to you or not, and press OK. And that, that's basically it. You can move this around. You can make it smaller or bigger, whatever you prefer. You can double click on your layer and add a drop shadow to it. And edit the distance to give it some shadow. So let's just add a background right now. Actually, I'll want to add a gradient as background. And you can just click here, double click and change the colors of your gradient. Just a light background change. I'm going to place my statue over it. And that's basically it. Um, you can do this with any object or any person in the photos. And it'll always look pretty cool. You can click here on the adjustment and add a gradient map if you want to make this statue gold. 
So just click here to make it into a clipping mask. Click on the gradient. And now I already have a gold gradient over here. But you can definitely make your own. Um, just use various different shades of yellowish and goldish colors. And that's it. Pretty amazing, right? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you tomorrow.